All right, greetings, and welcome to a brief introduction on how Unity basically works. I'm going to talk a little bit about Unity's structure. The main structure, highest sort of point of structure, is referred to as the project. You can think of the project as something like your whole game. It contains every asset that you're going to use in the game at any time. Whether that's 3D models, textures, materials, sounds, whatever. doesn't matter. Any of those things are permanent to your actual game, and if they get deleted, they will actually disappear permanently from your game. So they can't be touched unless you want to actually make a permanent change. The project contains also a scene file. Now, the scene file is equivalent to a game level, and inside the scene, the environment there is much more potentially dynamic and temporary. Although objects in a scene can be permanent, they can also be deleted, recreated, and modified at any time, and none of the original objects that they're based on will in fact have changed all that much. In other words, it doesn't make permanent changes to those objects. It makes temporary changes to those objects. So inside the scene, as we talked about, are game objects. Everything inside the scene is in fact a game object, and every game object contains components. You can think of components as something like behaviors, that tell the game object what to do, or how to interact with other game objects in various times. Unity accomplishes most of what it does by using what it's called views. And these are visual arrangements of the screen into sort of areas of focus. Our primary focus that we started with was the project view. And so in the project view, you'll be able to see all of the assets that have been imported into your project, such as the 3D models, textures, materials, sounds, and, of course, the scene. Inside the scene, the scene can then be split up into two different views, the hierarchy view and the scene view. These two views are intimately linked together. In fact, the hierarchy view is simply a list of all the game objects in the scene, whereas the scene view represents the 3D placement of those objects in the game world. Regardless, every game object is going to have properties, and those properties are visible in the inspector view. And this is where you can also see the individual components or behaviors that are added to game objects. Finally, we hit the game view where you can basically try out your level and determine what, if any, changes need to be made. A visual representation of the Unity project is set up here, where as you can see, the project view is on the bottom, hierarchy view on the left hand side with the scene view in the upper center, and the inspector on the right hand side. So here we are inside Unity itself, and we're dealing with our views. Again, we have our project view, our hierarchy view, the scene view, the inspector view, and the game view sort of hidden over here behind the scene view. So if we go to any of these views, the borders of any of the views can be resized in any way, shape, or form. You can grab the tab and move any view over to anywhere else, and it will automatically dynamically resize and be able to place itself. You can then save any of those arrangements as a layout and recall them at any time. We're using the default layout here inside the book, so this is useful to understand uh, going forward so that you can literally be in the same page as the book. So here what we have is a bunch of game objects inside the scene, and the scene file is actually located right here inside the project. If we look at the project, all of the assets that never get modified in the scene go here inside all of this. And this consists of objects. It consists of different kinds of things. Sometimes they are prefabs, which are prefabricated objects. It's a little bit much to go into at this point in time. But we have scripts, and we have various 3D models, and various things like this that appear. You'll notice that we have both files and we have folders. So that's a very kind of important thing to understand about the project view. Also, this assets folder does correspond to an actual assets folder inside the computer itself, located here under the assets folder 
on the project folder itself, but it is highly recommended that you do not take out and put in assets by that means. You should definitely do so by just simply dragging them into here because of the metadata issues that are talked about in the book. You don't want to crash the program. So therefore, it's always a good idea to import and export everything inside the project view in order to keep the metadata happy.